guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the upcoming planetary arrangement where on July 19th all of the planets will be sharing one side of the Sun, 180 degrees of 360 degrees available. All the planets will be over here on the right hand side, including Pluto. What does that mean? Well, we're going to try to find out what that does mean. Historically, I've looked back through time, and uh, this has only happened six times in 120 years. So it's a rare event. One common denominator I did notice, uh, looking back in time, volcanic eruptions. We're definitely um, tipping the scales during these types of planetary arrangements. And they're doing it again, it seems like. Even though we're not completely um, in the unique planetary arrangement, we've been heading that way for several weeks. And for several weeks, we've been seeing volcanic eruptions around the world. Right now, there are 33 active volcanic eruptions. The ones that you see in the uh, yellow and orange are minor activity. They don't even consider those eruptions. Even though they are technically erupting, they don't even count those. So right now, globally, 33. And we're going to look for that number to increase in the next few weeks. We're going to be in this unique planetary arrangement. In fact, I'm going to show you before I close out the video. We're going to be in this arrangement for a period of six to seven weeks. And then Mercury will take us out of this unique planetary arrangement, followed by Venus and then the Earth. So this isn't going to be just a one or two day thing. This is going to be for several weeks, which it's been several weeks leading up to this arrangement. The gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus have already been over here for a long time. Um, so is Mars. So we're waiting on actually Venus and Mercury. Here at the website you'll find an updated tab I've just recently added titled Yellowstone. If you click on that tab it will take you to a set of seismographs that monitor the supervolcano. We're going to be keeping a very close eye on the supervolcano in the coming weeks. Right now the seismographs look pretty normal. Um, there is some activity here and there but you got to keep in mind this is a supervolcano. There's going to be activity. If there were none, I would be a little suspicious. You're going to see some activity. We're going to look for changes, though, in the activity that we see. And we're going to look for an uptick. If you look at the Schumann Resonance, this tab over here on the lower right-hand side, you'll notice that the Schumann Resonance is acting very unusual today. It's been spiking the last several days in a row at around the same time. Pretty good sized spikes. But if you'll notice today, in just a little uh, more than 12 hours, it's spiked unusually dense uh, four times in less than a half a day. So it looks like, to me, the Schumann resonance may already be detecting this unique planetary arrangement. And I'm sure that the other planets um, will as well. But again, this is just a theory. Um, I noticed this a year ago, and I noticed how rare it was. Once I saw all of the planets on one side of the sun, including Pluto, I got to looking back through history and I kind of connected some dots, but there's a lot more that's unknown about this. And, and again, I'd like to uh, emphasize this is just a theory, but right now it looks like the planet is responding to its position in the cosmic neighborhood. So once again, a new tab at the website, uh, MrMBB333.com. Check out the website if you haven't. It's a good little hub for information. The latest earthquakes is another thing we're watching very, very closely. The global number up here in the left-hand corner, 5,508. That's the highest I've ever seen it. Most of these quakes are on the big island of Hawaii. You can see they're starting to spread out, uh, extending over into Mauna Loa, out along the southern rift zone, or at least the southern end of the island some now offshore i don't know what this is trying to tell us but there's definitely energy on the move it's been that way for a while but these earthquakes are starting to spread out so we got to keep in mind that uh helena slump is always a possibility it's happened before it could happen again i'm not saying it's going to happen this time but there's definitely plenty of activity on the big island and it's not showing any signs of letting up there's fissure 8. That's the active fissure that's responsible for the lava flow that's making the um, unbelievable entry into the ocean. And in fact, it's creating new shoreline. Uh, it's not showing any signs of letting up. In fact, that picture that I just showed you, I've got another one. It shows the cone that it's piling up. 
it's over well over 100 feet tall now. I think it's over 150 feet tall. And this could go on for quite some time. There's the lava river, the lava flood that is going into the ocean. And it's also creating new shoreline as I do this video. Unprecedented times we're living in, guys. Definitely unprecedented times. And there's a lot of things that we're keeping an eye on. These are things that we watch uh, pretty much every day. But we're going to watch them even closer as we enter this unique planetary arrangement. Uh, pay attention to your compasses. Pay attention to your elevation on your on your compass. If you have this feature on your smartphone, which most of you do, check out your altitude every once in a while. The elevation on your phone and your compass headings. Just pay attention to them. Look at the uh, sunrise. See if you see early twilight. A lot of people, including myself, this is a picture I took from out here in southeast Phoenix. And this was what I thought was a very early twilight one morning back on May 30th at 4.35 a.m. This is what the sky looked like. And the sun uh, was not due to rise until like 5.20 or 5.25, something like that. But all I know is around 4.30, it was almost daylight outside. And it just seemed very, very early to me. Another thing is the volcanic eruptions. They are a common denominator when the planets are all on one side of the sun. That's something that I've noticed historically. And I went back 120 years. This happened in 98, 82, uh, 53, 44, uh, 42, and 1917. And all of those years, with the exception of one, that being 1998, there were significant volcanic eruptions. Um, and this year, it looks like it's going to be one of those times where volcanic eruptions are definitely going to be a key component, or at least a uh, very active aspect of the Earth during this planetary arrangement. And there could be others. This was the only thing that I found. This is a look at Kilauea as it's erupting. We're seeing water anomalies uh, start to occur again. This is the Gulf of Thailand as it disappeared just a couple of days ago. People were out wandering around looking for artifacts. Flooding in Michigan, which these are things that we've seen in the past. This is not necessarily anything new, but we're going to keep an eye out for uh, more of the same. You know, this was up in Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. This is my earthquake app that I use on my phone. And this number here is the highest I've ever seen. I know I say that every week, ever since Kilauea has been uh, erupting, but it just continues now at 36, almost 3,700. And typically, the way I have this configured, that's globally. On a busy day, uh, five, 600 would be a, a tall number. So almost 3,700 is just simply out of this world. I don't know how else to explain it. You're looking here again at the trend of volcanoes headed towards Mauna Loa. The blue dot you see right here is a 3.1 up near the summit of Mauna Loa that occurred today. So not only are earthquakes trending towards Mauna Loa, they're also increasing in strength. Something to definitely keep an eye on. And also the weather patterns. I know hail is not a stranger to planet Earth, but the intensity of this hail that we've been seeing lately, um, it's almost alarming. If you look at this picture right here, it took the vinyl siding completely off this house, or a big portion of it. Just absolutely incredible. These pictures were from Elizabeth out of West Virginia. Just an unbelievable hailstorm. And this was just a few weeks ago as we're leading up into this unique planetary arrangement. This is the uh, Guatemala volcanic eruption that was a very powerful sudden eruption. And believe it or not, that same volcano erupted during the 19, I think it was 1942 planetary arrangement. And it erupted in dramatic fashion, much like it did here just a few weeks ago. And there was also a very large earthquake in this area back in 1942, 1944, during one of those two years, during the very unique planetary arrangement. So Guatemala and uh, Mexico, Central America, one thing I noticed, they were hot spots during these unique planetary arrangements. And again, I want to emphasize, this is just a theory. We're trying to learn if the Earth and other, we don't have any idea if, if the other planets respond. But we can definitely tell by keeping track of what goes on with the energies around planet Earth, if there is any type of um, influence that the other planets have on one another. I firmly believe that they do. I always have. And this is uh, going to be a time to legitimately check 
all of the planets are going to be sharing one side of the sun. And I'm going to take you to the app that, that I used to monitor this. Let me show you here real quick. We're going to monitor the Earth and all of the different aspects of uh, the Earth here from the website. And this is just a good starting point. Let's go to the app. Here we go. It's called Cosmographia. We're going to look at the planetary arrangement right now. and This is where we're at. With respect to the Sun, the gas giants, they're already over here. You've got Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn right there. So they've been over here for a while. Earth is over here. Mars is over here. All right, we're waiting on Venus and Mercury. When will that happen? Here we go. Let's step it forward. This is June 20th. June 21st, 22nd. I'm just stepping it forward until we get to that day when we're officially all sharing one side of the sun. And I'll show you how long it lasts. So from July 19th to the 1st of September, we'll be in this unique planetary arrangement. And we'll be many weeks coming out of that planetary arrangement. So it would be an interesting time to keep a very close eye on planet Earth. Um, if we had instruments on the other planets as well, I'm sure that they would be showing some sort of at least frequency increase, much like we're seeing in the Schumann Resonance. The Schumann Resonance, in my opinion, is already showing signs of this unique planetary arrangement. But that's just my opinion, um, and I'm a firm believer that these planets do, in fact, feel each other, if nothing else, through a frequency. And right here could be proof of it. But we'll see as time uh, rolls forward. All right, guys, check out the website. New tab. Yellowstone. We're going to start monitoring it very, very closely. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.